Bonjour, comment ça va? And welcome to Van Buren, Maine, a rustic county, the largest county east of the Mississippi River. Join me as we fly above this Acadian vista, all the while exploring some of the enduring characteristics of this gorgeous riverside town. Van Buren is home to almost 2,200 people, most of which are bilingual, with just over 77% of the homes speaking French. Well, okay, the homes don't speak French, but the people inside do. Speaking of humor, at the end of this video, I will have an amusing French story for you. Now, as you can see, Van Buren rests peacefully alongside the St. John River, and just over there on the other side of the spectacular view sits St. Leonard, New Brunswick, Canada. Van Buren is 194 miles north of Bangor, and only a half hour south of the most northeastern town in the United States, Matt Awaska. I will link a video to Madawaska at the end of this video. Van Buren is home to French Acadians, a peaceful, hard-working people who were wrongfully displaced by the British in Nova Scotia back in the 18th century. Some of the Acadians settled here in the St. John River Valley, while others moved to Louisiana and today are known as Cajuns. Proof to the Canadian enduring spirit, integrity, and commitment to each other, Van Buren is a home to be proud of. The legacy industry of northern Maine for the past hundred years or so has been potatoes and lumber. Much dimensional lumber and cedar shakes or shingles have come from or passed through Van Buren. Presently, broccoli and various grains are annually rotated with potatoes for balanced and well-maintained fields. Aside from agriculture and lumber, locally, Gem Machine Company is busy producing all manner of quality fabrication. P&E Distributors is supplying all manner of janitorial and facility supplies, food service products, and commercial cleaning equipment and service. And then, of course, Valencourt Transport is safely moving parts in and out of the county. Snowmobiling is an important part of northern Maine life and culture, and keeping the trails safe and groomed is critical to the safety of all riders. The gateway Snowmobile Club maintains and grooms 85 miles of trails at this important intersection of 81, 94, and 105. Those are snowmobile routes. If you've ever ridden their trails, send them a donation to help continue their mission. Did you know that Van Buren is connected to over 10,000 miles of snowmobile trails in the state of Maine and an endless supply across the border in Canada? Now you know. The nearest hospital with emergency care is Cary Medical Center in Caribou. However, Pines Health Services has a location here, and their medical specialists offer consistent medical care and general wellness services. Speaking of good care, as you come into town from Caribou, and located on the left is Borderview Manor, which has long served Van Buren with integrity, compassion, and commitment. I remember visiting the manor and John Pelletier back in the 1980s and joyfully observe the love and care the nurses poured out onto their patients. Mind you, I didn't understand a word of their beautiful French language, but it was obvious they cared. I will have a great story about John in a moment at the end of this video. Regarding restaurants, since Bichard's move to Caribou, Tasty Food is Van Buren's remaining place to eat now. Did you know I did a review of Bichard's? I'll put a link of that in the description below. Van Buren has a long history and pride of offering great education to the citizens here. I've spent many happy moments with former teachers Will and Sonia Labby and my lifetime buddy Pat Labby who graduated here in 1980. A shout out to all of you crusaders who are out there making the world a better place. Did you know that the record low temperature for Van Buren is 44 below zero? Here's a perspective for you. 44 below is 114 degrees below room temperature. Although there are no significant lakes or ponds in Van Buren, the St. John River has near endless canoeing and kayaking potential, and just a few miles away is Long Lake in Senegat, St. David, and Sinclair. Northern Maine has a glorious amount of acres and miles for your hunting and fishing pleasures. 
On the north side of town is the must-see Acadian village, which transports you back into a realistic insight into the lives of the original settlers. Listed on the National Register of Historic Places, Acadian Village has 17 buildings overlooking the Grand St. John River. Each structure retains the cultural heritage of a time gone by. Plan a visit this summer. Okay, here's my story about Van Buren. And it may be helpful for you to know that my grandparents came from Newfoundland, which is going to become quite relevant. One day while in Van Buren, I asked John Pelletier at Board of View Manor how to say, what are you doing, in French. I tried. I really tried to say it correctly. He even wrote it down for me on a piece of paper. I practiced that as I drove around the St. John River Valley. Later that day, I stopped into Rogers Sports Center in Fort Kent, and we all know Rogers a character, a super great great guy. When I walked up to Roger, I said, Qu'est-ce que tu fais? I can only guess how bad I'm butchering this, but Roger looked at me and said, You dumb noofy. Who taught you to say that? Amused, I replied, John Pelletier down in Van Buren. I figured a, a fellow Frenchman would give me all sorts of credibility. He waved his hands in the air in good French gesturing and said, Ah, no wonder. They don't know French down there in Van Buren. All good bantering, all good fun. Now, here's a question for you. Do you want to see more videos like this? Well then, please hit the subscribe and like buttons and we'll see you on the next video. Thank you for watching.